Next question is from Michelle. Michelle says, I am wondering how to get rid of the cellulite on the back of my legs. I noticed that even when you were pregnant, you didn't have any visible cellulite. That is not true. Is this a genetics thing that I have to live with? I am about 17% body fat and have seemed to have had it most of my adult life. I lift intensely four times a week and do cardio three times a week. I eat a balanced diet of healthy carbs, fats, and protein. I'm working on eliminating sugars. What else can I do? Will I always have cellulite? This is a really big topic. When you just say that you eat a balanced diet to really, really get in depth with you personally, Michelle, I would need to kind of know your, your age for sure because that comes into play a lot with cellulite. Uh, your weight, your height, your history with dieting and exercise, and what you're currently eating, what your macros are, because a huge thing with body, the way your body looks is under eating. So just because you're training, you might not be fueling your body. You might be putting yourself into, and I hate this term, but it's what everybody understands. You could be putting yourself into the skinny fat area, which is basically just training hard, but under eating. So you're not building enough muscle and you're not eating enough to help your body build and maintain muscle. My two tips for cellulite and kind of dealing with it and trying to combat it is number one, lift. Lift heavy, lift often, and lift with intensity. Number two, drink water. So I don't, you didn't mention anything about water, but try drinking a gallon of water a day, even a gallon and a half of water a day. It kind of depends on your body size. I don't, you, you can definitely drink too much water. It can be dangerous to drink too much water. So if I knew more about you, I could kind of help you with your water amount, but start with a gallon. That's pretty safe across the board. And try switching your foods up. You know, you're saying that you're eating a balanced, healthy diet. One tip I like to give is just shop the perimeter of the grocery store. So do not go down the aisles. Try switching to healthy, whole, natural foods as close to their natural element as the food is. Shop the perimeter of the grocery store. That's the lean meats. That's the unprocessed, unpackaged foods. That's the veggies and the fruits things like that. So try switching up your foods to be as natural, whole, organic as possible. That could have a lot, a lot to do with it. Fat sits on top of your muscle. When you grow lean, strong muscle, it helps to kind of force that fat to scram. I mean, if your muscles are growing and they're big and they're strong and they're hard, you're basically giving fat that sits right underneath your skin no chance to hang out there and just chill and exist. I don't know your age, but once you're over 30, which I am, your connective tissues become more loose and that's due to collagen and elasticity. And we lo start losing that stuff when we're getting old. You lose the elasticity and the collagen that exists in those fibers that hold that fat down. They become a little bit more loose so fat can protrude through those fibers a lot more. This is a female to male thing and also a within just the female category, a genetics thing. So think about basically your legs having fishnet tights on, cross hatches, or compression tights. Males are going to, most of the time, be more likely to have compression tights on. Women are more likely to always have fishnet tights on. That's how our fibers are built from gender to gender, unfortunately. And then within just the female category, some women will have less elasticity, more loose connective tissues, and more of a chance for those fat cells to poke through those fishnet tights. We already have, so we already have that difference in our makeup than males do. And then, you know, just within our own gender, some of our tissue under our skin is, ar is arranged different from the next gals. It's a skin structure and genetics thing. Reducing your body fat obviously improves it. I have cellulite. Hi, newsflash, I have cellulite. I don't have a lot of it, but I do have it. When I'm not leaned out for a photo shoot or a competition or an appearance, I have more cellulite. When I was pregnant, I had cellulite. When I'm lean, like I am now for photo shoots and expos, I have much less, but it's still there. Watch, I will show you. So I'm sitting in a chair right now, right? I have cellulite, it's there. There's dimples, okay? We all have it to some degree. I have yet to meet a woman in my life that just has no cellulite, no matter what her body fat percentage is. My tips are to eat more, figure out your macros, eat accordingly, shop the perimeter of the grocery store, lift heavy, and drink water. And see if those 
changes, those are realistic changes, and see if those changes make a difference for you. And be patient, it'll take time, but it'll work. Okay, thanks girls, see you next time.